Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, guys today I'm going to show you how to make a, a preloader using a very short and simple script. Okay, first things first, let me show you a published preview by hitting Ctrl Enter on my keyboard. Here goes Ctrl Enter. Once again to simulate the download guys and as you can see that uh, the preloader is running from left to the right and uh, the moment it reaches 100% guys you can s uh, you will be able to hear a music. Okay, uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna terminate uh, the published preview right now, and I'm gonna rebuild the you know the the whole process in a new file so you can learn from scratch exactly what I did. I'm gonna save file in a new and choose Action Script three. Uh, let me say okay. Okay, I'm gonna draw a rectangle first, like so. Okay. Uh, guys, I've actually have a linear gradient selected out here in the middle as the fill. I'm going to select only the fill, not the stroke, guys. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say convert to symbol. I'm going to keep the registration point top left. I'm going to say OK. All right. In fact, uh, let me say Control Z to undo that. Uh, I want to actually rotate the gradient. I'm going to hit the gradient transform tool and I'm going to rotate the gradient by a 90 degrees and I'm going to get the gradient parallel lines closer to each other like so okay now I'm actually happy with the gradient now let me convert it to a symbol right click convert to symbol keep the registration point top left say ok and uh, the instance name is pb for progress bar okay I'm gonna do nothing to the stroke at all guys I'm gonna keep the stroke the way it is you can actually see that the stroke is separate from the symbol right now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the text tool I'm gonna draw a text field like so alright uh, guys uh, let me uh, make it classic and dynamic now that's important I want the text field to be dynamic so I can actually give it an instance name I'm gonna give it an instance name of prog status alright and uh, guys have a look out here I've chosen the font family as Nayala and uh, the font size as 33 the color as blue I'm gonna embed the font I'm gonna hit the embed button I'm gonna choose these four options to embed okay uppercase locus numerals and punctuation I'm gonna say okay uh, if I go to the library you can actually see that the font has been embedded All right and uh, so guys I'm actually done okay now what I need to do is I need to drop in the action script out here but before that I'm gonna go to the second frame on layer number one I'm gonna press F7 to insert a blank keyframe I'm gonna let's save the file first hit save and let's call it a smart preloader okay let me on the second frame let me import a sound Okay, I, I could have imported a picture as well, but since sound files are longer, you, it's very easy to see them, you know, see the preloader. So let me say import to library, and then from the desktop, let me fetch in a royalty-free music clip. Mm, there it is. It's getting imported to the library, guys. Let me go to the library. This is the uh, royalty free music guys. I'm going to right click. I'm going to apply certain compression ratios to it. I'm going to go to properties and instead of default, let me set it to let's say MP3. Let me increase the bit rate to let's say 128. Let me make the quality best instead of fast. Okay. And let me say, okay. So I've applied uh, a compression ratio, which will keep the quality better or best right next guys what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the mp3 file onto the stage like so okay uh, right okay now that the music file is on the stage guys I need to make sure if I click on frame number two that uh, the sync is set to event for the sound clip wallpaper yes it is set to event that's just make sure that it's set to event right now guys what I uh, need to do is I need to go back to frame number one where we have the preloader and I need to use the action script out here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the previous file that I'd made okay I'm gonna go inside the actions panel I'm gonna fetch the action script that I'd written I'm not gonna write it all over again I'm gonna go back to the new file 
and I'm gonna drop in the action script out here okay so basically what I've done is I've dropped the action script on layer number one where we have this uh, movie clip PB PB for progress bar and uh, where I also have the progress status status uh, classic dynamic text field I've dropped the uh, action script out there okay now let me save the file and test the movie as we technically call it or test the preloader I'm gonna hit control enter to export this swift file okay and uh, here it comes just taking a little bit of a time guys and I'm gonna hit control enter once again to simulate the download okay I immediately see a problem out here the fill is actually overlapping the stroke so I'm gonna cancel it now uh, I can uh, quite easily overcome that what I can do is let me remove the stroke from inside uh, the, the fill from inside the stroke let me double click on the stroke right click and say convert to symbol okay let me keep the registration point top left let me say okay and drop the fill back inside the stroke okay now that problem wouldn't appear let me hit control enter once again to simulate the download guys control enter once again uh, yeah you need to hit control enter twice to simulate the download I'm sorry now you can actually see that the progress bar is running from left to the right guys I'm gonna pause the video now I'm gonna resume the video when we are very close to 100% okay okay guys uh, I have actually resumed the video because we are very close to 100% the moment the preloader does a complete 100% you can actually hear the sound as you'll soon see there you go guys okay now guys let's understand the script that was responsible for uh, this so let me dive inside the actions panel and let me explain the script to you okay line number one guys what I've done is since there are two frames on line number one I'm making sure that you know the playhead does not go to the second frame unless and until the download progress has completed so we need a stop method out there stop parent parent semicolon next guys I've used the loader info class I've added an event listener to it okay uh, I'm telling that as long uh, you know basically the event listener uh, listens to the progress and as long as the loading is in the progress I would want a function called loading to execute or fire now let's understand what happens out here the function loading calculates a variable percent now the percent which is which has the type number uh, is actually able to pull up two values the bytes loaded of the event and the bytes total of the event basically I'll tell you why I've actually used the loader class the, the loader info class the loader info class helps you fetch the total bytes loaded and the total uh, you know the total bytes and uh, out of the total bytes how many bytes have actually loaded so these two uh, properties the event dot bytes loaded and event uh, dot bytes total can be fetched only if you add the event listener to the loader info class very important okay and then I've multiplied loaded by total and uh, multiplied that by a hundred hence I'm actually fetching a percentage I'm fetching a percentage right now what I've done is PB is the progress bar guys I'm scaling it along the x-axis I'm dividing the percentage by a hundred uh, which means that it'll give me a value between 0 and 1 so basically I'm scaling the progress bar between 0 and 1 0 is min size 1 is the max size the original size right uh, also guys I'm making the prog status now prog status is the dynamic text field using the text property I'm making it equal to the integer basically when I use the int I'm actually fetching a whole number without fractions of the percent now percent was calculated in line number five plus a percentage sign right now when you add a string to a number the whole thing actually becomes a string once it becomes a string then you can put it inside a text field guys using the text property cool 
and in line number 10 I've used an if conditional which says if percent becomes equal to 100 or basically when the, uh, the loading progress is completed please go to the next frame next frame means next frame and stop or if the situation warrants the next frame could be replaced by a play parent parent semicolon instead of next frame parent parent semicolon that depends on the situation whether you would want uh, the play had to go to the next frame and stop there or whether you would want to go to the next frame and resume playing now that depends on the situation here we just have two frames so it's okay to say next frame all right so before i terminate the tutorial guys let me hit control enter once again to uh, test or export the swift once again to simulate the download okay so working to perfection guys absolutely um, working very well very smoothly okay guys uh, let me tell you that this is one of the shortest action script 3 uh, script for a preloader trust me on that take my word for it all right very simple very short and very easy to write okay so guys i hope you like this tutorial uh, i found it uh, i was pretty impressed with my effort okay uh, so i'll s i hope i'll see you very soon with yet another tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace